So, Gemini, for the month of December, I see some type of messages, some type of, of idea that you had of a particular person is going to come to light. I feel like there's things that you're going to find out. There's hidden secrets. There's hidden things that you don't know about. So I feel like for the month of um, December, you're going to find things out. You might get some type of message of some kind letting you know that this person that you're you're pertaining to is not exactly what you think it, it is okay so just keep in mind that not everything that glitter is gold and just keep in mind again that um sorry guys that's my dog um he's a barker sorry for that interruption um back to what i was saying nothing not everything that glitter is gold and remember that you know, I feel like you had some type of intuition feeling about it already. So I feel like you kind of already know what's kind of going on with that person, um, to be exact. So I feel like this, this, uh, this, the illusion that you had of that person or something, it's, it's not going to be what you think it is. Most importantly, I feel like you, you have to make assessments. December is about making assessments. It is about assessing your life, assessing what step you want to take further. I feel like, um, most importantly, you're going to be assessing your money. If you look, you have a lot of, uh, coins 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 i see you even like taking time out to um focus on yourself focus on improving yourself focus on pampering yourself i feel like um the assessments that you make are going to be about you so when you make these assessments make sure that the only thing you keep in mind is you i know that you might be dealing with someone that you want to make sure you think about them as well but think about you your assessments are about you um you have the will the world so you will have success you'll be successful in whatever it is so, so if you're looking if you're seeking love you can be successful to have suitors i feel like um if you're looking to find new love you have to be honest with them the same way they need to be honest with you because i see like some of you guys are looking for suitors that benefit you not really so much that you're in love with, but more like beneficial type of thing. Um, so that so that message that 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 message that you're gonna get that clarification that you're gonna get due, due to a certain situation, I feel like you can judge that person. And that message is going, that, that, that thing that you finally realize that it's not everything that you thought it was going to be or something they're lying to you about something, it's going to cause tension between people. And I kind of feel like it's, it's going to be like a tug of war because once you find out that they're not what you are supposed to be, you're going to kind of be like put up a block and not want to, you know, just deal with them in general. I feel like it's going to cause tension between people. You know, arguments, disagreements. I feel like um, you still have the ability to progress, even if it doesn't work out. But I don't see, like, any type of separation or anything. I just feel like, you know, it's going to cause some type of tension. Maybe some type of pause or something for a certain period of time. Not such a long time, but, you know, I'll give it maybe a week or two. Some type of pause. Um, I feel like because of that, you're going to make, you're going to want to make some life-changing assessments, which is up here. I feel like you, you know, you're going to start looking at the situation differently and you're going to like want to assess like, is this person really worth being with me? I mean, is it worth the tears? Is it worth the lies? I feel like most important, the biggest thing about December is your assessments because remember, we are going into the year, um, the new year in January and it's not so far away. Today is actually the 9th, I believe so, because it's 12 a.m. So it's not so long for the new year to hit. So I kind of feel like you are going to make assessments. I mean, 
you're going to sit there and say, hey, let me take time for myself. I feel like, you know, whatever it is, whatever message that you're going to get, whatever news you're going to get, it may not be the news that you want to hear, but at the same time, it's going to give you, it's going to, you're going to make your decision up. You're going to make a decision and it's going to make, you're going to be based, you want to base it off of that, basically. And that's going to just help you because it's going to give you time to focus on you. Because I feel like when you were dating that person, all you did was focus on them. You focused on making them happy. You focused on just them, you know. I just feel like a lot of tension, a lot of disagreements with that person. And I don't feel like you guys were a good match because majority of the time you were arguing. You were not happy. Um, you have somebody around you, which is a fire sign. Um, I feel like that person is like, could be like a motherly love. Um, again, some of you Tauruses, you guys um, might be dealing with some of with a person that's younger than you and you were kind of like the motherly figure in the relationship i feel like you probably took care of them um gave them things spent money on them it was kind of like you were babysitting more, not rather than actually a real relationship um take time take time out my message to you for December, take time out, you know, spend money on you. This is, this person right here, I feel like, um, it's a message for you to focus on yourself. Focus on yourself, pamper yourself, um, enjoy the fruits of your labor, like, work, you know, work to improve you. Self-improvement is the most important thing. So, this right here, this, this illusion that whatever it is that you this view that you had on something a situation is not always true it's it's gonna it's gonna be kind of a hit but you'll be fine focus on yourself i feel like you're gonna have to juggle th something um i'm gonna tell you something some of you towards some of you gemini's some of you gemini's can be deceiving you know, we all have our traits, whatnot, but I'm going to just put this together. For f I, have, I feel like some of you Geminis might be dealing with two people at the same time, so you're going to have to juggle it. Don't do that. That's not advisable. Don't juggle two people. What I'm getting is, I see, I still see, like, some of you guys that are not in, like, a committed relationship with one person. I feel like you guys are going to... to to juggle two people but at the same time that those people might not know about each other but remember things left unsaid always find its way so even though that person doesn't know that you have another person it, it's not a long time before it comes out i feel like the news will come out and you're juggling it you know what i mean again um if you're not the one, you know, on the end that is dealing with two people, I feel like the person can also be dealing with, the person that you're involved with could be dealing with two people. And they juggle you and that other person. And I kind of feel like the truth is going to come out. Truth is going to come out. If there's one thing you take from this video, the truth will come out. December, the month of December, you will find news. It might not be good, but you will find it. But... Keep in mind that whatever news you find out, it's just a movement to improve yourself and to get better. Learn from your mistakes and move forward. Juggle, 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 juggle. Remember, don't judge people. I feel like, you know, some of us, uh, some of us as people, we judge people, you know, not on, they make people make mistakes and then we're like, you know, they're such a horrible person and this and this and that. But. <laughs> Don't judge anybody because the same way that person can make a mistake, that's that's how you can make a mistake. So just remember that. So I feel like you're going to get an invitation of some kind. Maybe you can have an offer of love for my single Geminis. Some of you Geminis might get an offer of love. Don't be so quick to deny it because that person that might offer you that love, it might not be exactly what you wanted. Or you might not be interested in that love, so you're going to be like, 
oh no, you know, I'm not really interested, you know, I'm looking for someone that I want to be with, not somebody that wants to be with me, you know, just overall negative about the situation, you know, because I feel like some of you guys are dealing with trust issues, you carry that on your shoulder, you feel like, you know, if one person lied to you, everybody else is going to lie, <laughs> that's not true, don't believe in that, um, don't be so quick to, to, um, deny the offer. If you see this, I, if you see this guy sitting right here, there's a cup in the air that's hold up. Somebody could offer you, somebody could offer some type of, um, invitation or send you a message or offer you something and since it's a cup cups signify emotions so somebody can off have offer you you know a new love or offer you an opportunity to find a new love don't be so quick to deny it because i feel like you're gonna contemplate the situation and you see all these you're even though you see this cup here you're still looking at these up in front so don't ignore that 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 offer because you're too busy looking at this okay so that's just another that's another message that i want to get across to you guys don't ignore i see you guys contemplating and thinking about it and you know juggling it back and forth i mean don't ignore that love i feel like some of the gemini's you guys can have a lot of love a lot of love but at the same time you know you might you know i might be ready for love I feel like an invitation is coming, an invitation is coming, an adventure is coming. You're going to get a message again. Um, my biggest thing about this reading for the month of December is you're going to get a message. Remember me when I tell you. You're going to get a message. You're going to find something out. You're going to get a message. That's all I can hear in my head at the moment is you're going to get a message. You're going to get a message. Remember that. Um... <laughs> Be flexible. Focus on yourself. Don't be quick to um, to turn down an offer. You know, sometimes we ignore the ones that adore us for the ones that we adore. Only so that we can find out that the person we adore doesn't adore us the way we do them. And then it's kind of like a karma thing. You know, like, you want to be with the one that wants, that doesn't want to be with you. So you hurt the one that wants to be with you to be the, with the one you want to be with. And the reality of it, if the moral of the story is, <laughs> you're never supposed to judge a book by its cover. One. Number two, haven't you heard? Opposites always attract. Three, don't do what you don't want to be done to you. Remember that. You know, guys, the most important thing I, I try to do for these readings is I like to give people guidance. I do these readings for friends and families only to give them guidance. I'm not God. This reading is not going to be saying to everybody, but this is what I see for Gemini. I see you, you know, you have the world at your feet. You're going to be successful, whatever it is that you're going to do, regardless of whatever happens make assessments make life changes you know if a certain situation didn't work out for you and you feel like it wasn't even worth your time make assessments learn from your mistakes see like step back and see the you're right from wrong make sure that when you're going to get into an argument you hear both sides of the story because i feel like you're a one one you're a one-sided story if you're right you're right and you don't want to hear anybody else's story which is completely crazy. Um, some of you, um, some of you Geminis are dealing with the same air sign. When I say air sign, Gemini is an air sign, Aquarius is an air sign, and a Libra is an air sign. I feel like some of you guys are were involved with an air sign or are involved with another air sign right now. I feel like that relationship. I mean, at the same time, you can get along smoothly, but at the same time, you can have a lot of disagreements. 